All right, all y'all. Front lift is complete. We just gotta paint it. All right, dang. I keep getting my legs stuck on the freaking fan. All right, yeah. Front lift is done. We got a motorcycle jack underneath it. We're uh, right now working on the rear lift. But yeah, look how sweet that looks. Freaking awesome. I am gonna do a triangular framing right here. It's just to make it look stronger and actually make it stronger, but in reality, this right here is plenty strong to hold the shock. It just appears weak, so I'm gonna make it look cooler. I'm gonna put a uh, beam straight across. I'm gonna set up a little triangle here. But um, yeah, let me show you how we're raising up the back here. See, I got one box that I built here. Cut it up myself. Yeah. We're gonna come down with like this. And uh, we're gonna put a, I got some L beams that we're gonna make a little triangle to uh, wedge in between there. I didn't, I didn't, I kinda messed up when I cut it, so we're gonna fix that problem. But uh, yeah, this is basically mounting up just like that, and the shock goes inside of it. And uh, that brings it down about three inches in the back. And uh, yeah, then we're gonna put it all back together and have a full lift. So that's basically what's uh, going on right now. Next video you see, you'll see, hopefully it'll be uh, done. Alright, friggin' A. It's not done yet, but y'all gotta see how I did this rear shocks. Um, boxes, where the existing mounts were, I cut them off, welded a straight box down. It's uh, lifting up this part by two and a half inches, so the bolt itself is actually two and a half inches lower than it originally was, but because of the leverage, it, like the positioning of it being straight down and not at an angle or whatever, it's like lifting it up higher so really it's like four inches in the back instead of uh like this this here's two and a half inch while the back is actually like four inches i'll, I'll figure it all out once i uh get it I'll put it back together i'll do the math but we got a little triangular l bracket in there or yeah l metal make a uh, triangular frame shocks work all good Friggin' move like it's supposed to. It looks awesome. Yep, I'll get a good video of it when we got the plastics on. She's all painted up. Yeah, we gotta paint where the shiny steel is so it doesn't rust. Alrighty, next video, it should be done. As I've said in just about every one of these clips.